So Modern Warfare 2 Remastered Multiplayer could in fact be dropping with Season 2 of Black Ops Cold War. I've been going over all of the information that we've had before on Modern Warfare 2 Remastered, going over what was said in Tom Henderson's livestream and going over what we currently know on Modern Warfare 2 Remastered and what we've seen before with the campaign remaster and honestly it's looking very likely that we could be seeing something Modern Warfare 2 Remastered related in Season 2 so we're going to be discussing all of this in today's video so without further ado let's jump to the video <laughs> But if you guys want to stay up to date with all of the Call of Duty news, not just Modern Warfare 2 Remastered Multiplayer, not just Modern Warfare 3 Remastered Multiplayer, but across Warzone, Cold War, and Call of Duty in general, make sure you guys are subscribing to the channel. And if you are pumped up for some Modern Warfare 2 Remastered Multiplayer action, leave a like on the video. But first of all, before we get down and nitty gritty with all the Modern Warfare 2 Remastered Multiplayer news, I just want to put out this quick... Disclaimer, and that is none of what I'm saying is 100% concrete. All of what I'm bringing to you guys is educational guesses on what's happened before and just using a bit of common sense and looking at this from a business perspective. So with all that shit out of the way, let's get on with the video and we're starting off with a banger. Yesterday, or potentially the day before, I can't quite remember when it was, Data miners actually went into the files of Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War and pulled out a Modern Warfare 2 calling card. Now, this could quite easily be nothing, but they already have a Modern Warfare 2 calling card in there. They've added another one in. Was there any other Call of Duty title where they've done this? In Modern Warfare 2019, they added in Modern Warfare 2 calling cards. Then, we got the campaign remaster, and then doing it again, which leads me to believe, potentially, we could be getting multiplayer very, very soon. I would also just like to add that even though I've said that it will come in Season 2, and I truly do believe it will come in Season 2, it doesn't mean that the fucking second Season 2 drops, we're going to get Modern Warfare 2 Remastered Multiplayer. I believe that if you give it a few weeks, that is when we will finally see Modern Warfare 2 Remastered Multiplayer. And that brings me onto my next point and what Tom Henderson actually said in his live stream, and that is to rejuvenate the community. As we know, Season 1 was a flop. Let's not beat around the bush here. It was good for a first couple of days. We got Nuketown, we got some other bits and bobs. I don't even quite remember exactly what we got, but we got some other shit as well. And then once everyone had finished with the Season 1 content, which was done in a few days, they moved right back over to Warzone. And also, in the state of the game at the moment, with the DMR, with the DMATIs, with all the skill-based matchmaking, at the moment, at least, it seems like the perfect time to drop it. Now, before I give you guys any more information on the release of Modern Warfare 2 Remastered, I've got a quote from Jamin, the Gaming Revolution source, and quite potentially the one thing that is confirming Modern Warfare 2 Remastered Multiplayer to be coming very, very soon. First of all, if for some bizarre, unknown reason you guys go on to enjoy this video, make sure you give it a like. Give it a like for me, give it a like for Modern Warfare 2 Remastered Multiplayer, and while you're down there, hit the subscribe button. But the next thing that I want to tell you guys is probably the most concrete bit of evidence that I have got suggesting we're going to be getting Modern Warfare 2 Remastered multiplayer in the near future. Once again, I would just like to add that none of this is confirmed. COVID is still a thing, believe it or not, and times can change, timetables can change, and things can be brought forward, and things can be pushed back. One of those things being Modern Warfare 2 Remastered multiplayer. But if we cast our minds all the way back to last year when we got the campaign remaster, it came as part of a bundle. So you paid for the bundle, which was $20. You got the campaign remaster, you got the ghost operator, you got some guns, calling cards, etc, etc. Well, it just so happens that we are going to be getting a soap operator pack coming to Modern Warfare, coming to Warzone and Black Ops Cold War, costing $20. Last time we got the operator pack for Ghost, it costs $20. It was iconic Modern Warfare 2 figure. $20, Modern Warfare 2 Remastered Campaign, the calling card, the character, and some guns. And by the looks of things, we're getting $20 for an operator, we're getting $20 for potentially a multiplayer remaster. 
Now the final piece of evidence that I've got to suggest that we will potentially be getting Modern Warfare 2 Remastered Multiplayer this year is the gaming revolution source Jamin actually came out and said it could drop in early 2021 if the premium title that being Black Ops Cold War doesn't sell well. Now from what I can gather it didn't do incredible, it didn't sell like Modern Warfare but on the same hand it also didn't do terribly. But let me know what you guys think. Do you reckon it could be dropping in Season 2? Do you agree with me? Do you not? I want to hear your thoughts and theories down in the comment section below. But have a fantastic day. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. All that good shit. Stay safe. Look after each other. This is Lukey. And I'm signing out. Peace.